Put your hands together for Monique, she in the building. Okay, hi, I'm Monique, and tonight I'm going to read a piece called Mommy's Boy, and this is dedicated to my son and all the young teen boys, especially from Southeast Queens. I wonder when my son is out in the park, will he come home safely before it's dark? I wonder when he's out there playing basketball, will he suddenly trip and fall? Will something happen and he suddenly slip, and then he will be approached by a crib? Will it start to rain and turn into a flood, then he will be confronted by a blood? Will he be styling, dribbling, and doing his thing, then be approached by a Latin king? Will he continue? Continue to play his game and be used as a toy, then possibly meet up with the lost boy. I often wonder when he's out there on the street, who will he confront, who will he meet? For I no longer know if the colors are abstract or concrete. I remember when the colors were once red, black, and green. These colors were peaceful, beautiful, and serene. But damn how these colors have become so mean, which makes me so fearful as a mother of a growing teen. I remember when these colors used to represent a prideful and beautiful nation, but now these colors seem to represent so much condemnation. This is becoming a reality, in fact, our children are dying, they are being attacked, but they have so many stigmas of the color black. I even wonder when my son is out there trying to score two points, will someone offer him some joints? If he's out there trying to make a shot, will someone offer him some more pie? If he's out there and he's caught in the rain, will someone offer him crack cocaine? If he's out there trying to make a rebound, Will he be lost, discovered, or found? If he's out there trying to make a free throw, will he remember what he learned new and what he does know? If he's out there trying to make a hack, will he be pressured to join a secret pack, or will he remember to think before he acts? When he's out there and he has to make a choice, will he remember his mother's voice? When he's out there trying to shoot to that hoop, will his mind get caught in a loop, something that will make him twist and turn, and for his mother he will yearn. When he's out there playing that game, I hope he can look straight and think about winning that fame, and hear his mom calling his name. I hope he can shoot that ball through the sky, and remember to keep looking through his mother's eye, and know that he is my precious guy, and I wonder, wonder, that is why. So when you're out there playing in this world, I want you to remember as you twist and twirl, I want you to remember as you move on your feet, that a parent has a lot to compete. When you're simply out there trying to raise an only son, competing with this cruel world and everyone, so remember don't simply run to someone that hollers and screams hey son because you should remember that you're my only one someone out there trying to be your mother your brother your sister or dad simply because they may never had someone trying to make you a predator or prey trying to make you lose your way but before you become someone's dart remember what I taught you about your heart remember to keep playing and you grow to be brilliant and please please remember to be resilient remember you play to win and you play to gain and you will never endure any more pain and when you're out there playing on that court remember how hard both of us fought and when you're out there playing don't play too hard but remember my words like you remember those of a car Whatever you think, face or do, I'll still be inside waiting for you. Resist the temptation, the violence and the war, and never forget the person that you are. And remember when you're ever you're finished playing, you could always come back inside. And I'll be so happy that you're still by my side. All right.